Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will just be a quick video on how to check if an object has a certain game property on it. This is mainly useful for things like collisions and stuff, so I'll just get started. So to start off, what we want to do is we want to rename this cube. I'll just rename it as objects like this. And let's give it character physics, so it selects Blender Game right here. Click this, and change the physics from static to character, and click actor. Alright, so now that we have this, what we're going to do is do spacebar and then add a plane. Spacebar add plane like this, and drag this plane just below our cube like this. So if we hit P, we can see the cube is going to drop. Now that we have this, let's drag the cube up, and let's go from defaults to game logic, blender render, blender game. And what we're going to do is on our plane, let's add an always sensor, and let's add a collision sensor like this. I'll just rename this as collision all lowercase, and I'll click tap right here, or um, and I'll put with the property object. Actually, let's not put anything on this. So if it collides with any object, that'll be better. Add a Python controller like this, and connect this like this. Okay, now that we have this, what we're going to do is I'll just select tap right there. Is I'm going to write a script, so let's do templates, Python, and then game logic simple. And let's destroy this, or let's take out this part right here that I've highlighted, and hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And let's rename this script as script.py and add that script right here. Let's now define our collision sensor. So let's do collision is going to equal comp that sensors collision like this. And what we're going to do is have if collision.positive. What we're going to do is have prop names is going to equal collision.hitobject dot get property names like this all right now that we have this what we're going to do is have if and let's say object in prop names so if one of those properties contains uh, or if one of the items inside the properties list contains object or is object we're going to do collision dot hit object dot end object like this okay now that we've got this what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control and scroll out and let's do an else statement right here if then let's do else and we can print not there so if the property is not there we can print that so I'm going to do window and toggle system console to open this up and if we hit P we see it prints not there so let's right click on this cube and let's add the property object in here like this now we should see if we hit P it'll delete that cube like this so this is how to check if an object you're colliding with has a certain property and I hope you guys find this very useful. I'll, get, I'll show you the script just for one more second. So there you go. There's the script. Thanks for watching, everyone.